Okay, this is our first podcast episode, so make sure that you're using your time wisely in class. Um, Many people, when they're starting a podcast episode, um, tend to do a lot of work with special effects and just make sure your content is clear. Okay, so the first things first, you need to make sure that uh, you can find the GarageBand icon. The GarageBand icon is a guitar, so make sure you find that. Click on that, or if that's not on your dock, then please go to the Finder, click on the Finder, and then just search for GarageBand. And then the guitar icon should show up here. Double click on that. This is going to open a new GarageBand project. Please click on Create New Podcast Episode. Now that's going to bring up a save window. And so you want to make sure you remember what you're going to save it as. I'm going to save it as sample. Okay, you can name it whatever you want. Just make sure you remember what the name is. For you, this is also important where you save it at. Okay, um, desktop is not the place you want to save it on your laptop. If you save it on the laptop, on the desktop, it will be gone tomorrow. So make sure you find student in here and save it in student. Now I don't have student because this is not a school-based computer. Um, but just make sure that you save it under student um, then click create this is going to create for you a new podcast episode now this is just a brief introduction to GarageBand so if for some reason you already have a great idea of all these things feel free to just fast forward um, if you'd like but a quick note there are four different tracks that they automatically give you the first one is a podcast track the next one is a male voice track, a female voice track, and a jingles track. The first thing I'm going to show you how to do today is how to just record. Um, it's a very simple operation that you use, and this line here that you drag back and forth just tells you where you're starting at or where you're ending at. So I like to, at the beginning, I like to drag it towards five seconds just so I have some room to work before, just in case. And so in order to start recording, you can hit the record button or the R button on your uh, keyboard. So once I do that, it starts recording. You can see the fluctuations in your voice down at the bottom. Now to stop, I can hit the record button again, or I can hit the space bar, your choice. So now I have just recorded my first seconds of podcast. I can go back and listen to it just by dragging this red line and then replaying it. It starts recording. You can see. The okay, so I obviously have good audio there. Now, if you don't have audio that you can hear, this is what you need to do. You need to go change some preferences in the sound um, on your computer. So, what you do is you go up to your left hand corner of your screen, and there's an Apple button up there. Go ahead and click that. Then you go down to System Preferences. Now you're going to find the Sound Preferences button. Go ahead and click the Sound Preferences button. You're going to go to Internal Microphone or Built-in Audio, and then turn up the sound. This is down, right, and then this is up. So make sure it's up probably about this far so you can hear yourself talk. Once that done, that is done, um, go ahead and hit the X in the upper left-hand corner. All right, so once you have that, um, you're ready to go. So let's say you are finished recording all of your audio, all of your voice, and you're happy with the content of your voice. Um, now's the time that you can enter special effects or some other type of music. Um, the first way we can do that is to go ahead and go to this eye icon right here and go ahead and click it. That's going to give you all the possible um, sound effects here. And I'm going to choose jingles cinematic and then broadcast news long and the way that you add these to your podcast is just to click and hold and then drag it into the track that you want it to be in once you drag it into the track you want it to be in it's gonna just automatically be sent there and you're ready to go but one thing I notice here is that this is really long now I can keep it in here if I want to that's fine but if I want to edit it I can do that as well and I can both edit the special sound effects and the voice that I just recorded. 
if you want to edit your voice any sound anywhere all you have to do is double click on that section this brings up the fluctuations within that special effect or voice and then you just got to find out where you want to actually edit it from and I want to edit it about where I started talking and so I just make sure I'm down this lower section I click and I hold and then I move my way down the sound effect now I can stop at any time and delete any of this that I want to but I want to delete it all so I'm going all the way over and I'm going to click back inside the highlighted area one more time just once now once that is highlighted now I just hit the delete button that just deleted the entire portion that I want to delete and I'm just left with this section right before my voice so let's try it out and see what what I got so far it starts recording. okay not bad um, but there's one more thing that I can do to make it kinda sound a little bit nicer and that is to fade the music out before I start talking and how we do that is we go to this button within the specific track that you want to fade out. It could be in your voice or it could be in the sound effect. Hit that button. Now, this line right here shows you the level of the audio of your specific track that you have selected. So I want this track to start to fade out right about here. Okay? Then I want that to uh, stop fading out let's say right about here I go ahead and drag this line down this means that this is gonna slowly taper off until my voice takes over okay so um, let's try it again see what the difference is it starts recording. okay as you can see that's kind of a nice little way to uh, segue into your your voice from your introduction special effect Okay, so those are just some two basic uh, things that you can use in your podcast really quickly. The last thing I wanted to show you, because I know a lot of you were interested in this, and that is how to change your voice in GarageBand. Um, the first thing you need to do to change your voice is to select the track that you had just used. Um, then you go to the letter I button, you click that, and that's going to bring up on the right hand side all of the possibilities for um, the voice effects. Um, there are also some other effects in there that you can check out. Um, but I'll show you uh, the, the voice effects are in the podcasting and the vocals area. Now the, the most popular vocal um, sound effect for voices is the helium breath one. Um, mainly because it's it's kind of funny, but also you can hear fairly well um, with this helium voice. A lot of these special effects on voices, it makes it really hard to understand. So make sure you pick one that you can understand. Otherwise, your grade's going to go down. Okay. So once I pick this helium breath, it automatically has changed my male voice track to a helium breath track. Okay. And that has just changed what it sounds like. So let's check it out. Let's see what it sounds like now. It starts recording. You can see the fluctuations in the okay, so it's obviously very different. And those are the first introductions I want to give to you today to start your project. And if you have any questions, please raise your hand and I'll come around and help you out. Have a great time.